So at this point, I have a point at 0, 0. I have a circle with a radius of 1. I have a point Q that travels along that circular path. I have a point R that has the same height as Q and a point P uh, that fluctuates based on the fixed arm between, in this case it's invisible at this point, between P and Q. So the only difference in all of my work so far is that this is based on a circle with a radius of 1, your circle has a radius of 2, so keep that in mind as we move through this. So what I want to do in this video is create a line segment between R and Q. Now, the way I like to do this is I want to create a horizontal line. And the horizontal line, I'm just going to say, is called y equals... Remember horizontal line, you put a number in, it gives you a horizontal line, any, any value there. I want my horizontal line to always have the same height as both R and Q. In my case, that height is the sine of A. So now, before I go any further, I'm just going to rotate Q around and make sure this works. I, I get that line that is at the same height as both R and Q, right? Let me go up here. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see it a little bit better there. Now, I don't want the whole line. It should be a line segment. But my segment needs to be defined. So I'm going to do over here, put curly brackets in. So that's shift, and there's a bracket button. Now, initially, you might think, okay, I'll go from zero, where R is, up until where? Well, wherever Q is. In my case, Q is always at the cosine of A. That's the exposition of Q. And it looks like I've got it, right? This is a really cool segment, and it works. But then look what happens here. Oh, it disappears. And then it reappears where? Here. So it's disappearing whenever Q is less than R. Think about why that is. My X value here is defined from 0 up to the cosine of A. Well, here, x is um, at 0, and the cosine of a is below 0. So there's nothing to graph. I'm only graphing values above. So you could write another function to do this, but I think a really cool way to do this is to use uh, a minimum value, a minimum function value in Desmos. So if you type in min right here, and you say, give me, start at the minimum, whatever is smaller, 0, or the x position of q. In my case, it's the cosine of a. Start at whichever one's smaller. Then take all the x values up to, right? Pick x values up to the max of whatever is bigger, 0 or the cosine of a. And what this will do, let's just check this out real quick. I love this little formula. I thought you might appreciate it. At the beginning here, um, let me go down to 0. I get a segment here from O to Q. It chooses whatever is smaller, 0 or the cosine of A. Well, the cosine of A is where Q is. Which one's smaller, 0 or the cosine of A? Well, 0 is, so it picks 0. And then it takes X values up to the maximum. What's bigger, 0 or the cosine of A? Well, here it'll pick the cosine of A as the bigger value because that's bigger than 0. And that will stay bigger, right? This segment will continue until, <clears throat> until I pass pi over 2. At that point, let's look at this right here. At this point right here, we have some angle in the second quadrant, right? And in this case, I start with the cosine of A because it's always picking what's smaller, 0 or the cosine of A. 0 is now the bigger value, so it starts with the smaller, cosine of A, plotting x values up to 0, which is the bigger case, our maximum. What's bigger, 0 or the cosine of A? So this little function allows you, right, to deal with that variance. Sometimes Q is to the left and sometimes Q is to the right of R. I thought you might appreciate that. But there are other ways to do this. If you don't like that, write a couple of functions. Uh, the first one would go, let's say, from 0 to the cosine of A. And then you can write another one, Y equals the sine of A, where we go from the cosine of A up into 0. Let's see if that works. Right. Oh, there it's not working, so let's fix that. Why is it mad? Oops, I forgot to put the right brackets in there. Let's do that. There we go. So that will work as well. I just think it's cooler to have one formula that does it for you. All right, I hope that helped.